Okay, now I'm uh, the camera shut off. I'm holding it wrong. I'm gonna put some power on it. Um, it's a real faint. Okay, it's all the way on. We're gonna reverse directions. No, it's not doing anything, so I'm gonna turn I'll turn the power off. Now those are the brakes, as you mentioned, that were uh Okay, let's let's put it back on forward. Power on. Well, that's the cylinders releasing. We'll hit the bell too. No, okay, now I've got it turned on. Nothing's moving. I'm going to turn the power off. And it didn't move. You heard the brake squeal. So, brake squealing, or it's just it's just a sound. It has nothing absolutely to do with any brakes whatsoever. So anyway, I'm going to take the top off, and we're going to see what it looks like then. Okay, we got it apart. Still on loco number nine. I'm going to hook up the wire here. You hear it come on. I'm going to do the whistle. Hmm, number three seems to be the bell. I don't know why. Number one should be the bell. Now to turn on the lights. Well, okay, what happened here? Okay. Not, not getting a good connection. There it is. See, I got this thing on power, one full, full power. Just barely moving. Okay, so I'm going to turn the power down. I'm going to go over here to change the direction. Back. And we're going to, we're going to put the power on it. Well, it's moving better. Oops. That, yeah. That's full power, so it's not working right. It's not working right. So at any rate, I will endeavor to uh, unsolder the motor leads, hook some DC up to it, and see if we can get the drivers to move. And if they don't, then we'll see what else is wrong. Okay. Okay, I've got one DC. It's just a regular old Mara uh, Tech 2 stat here. We're just putting DC in it. <coughs> I'm going to go down here and... <coughs> Excuse me, just had a chocolate chip cookie. We're going to touch this one. Listen to that thing run. Oh, it is running so sweet. Really good. Okay, so the motor... And the gears are good, so what that means to me is that the drivers are bound up somehow. So I would guess that's my next thing I got to do is see why the drivers don't work or spin and turn. Motor works good. Uh, I would guess if I hooked that back up to DCC, the thing would work like a charm. But the drivers still aren't going to move, so we'll see what's hanging this up. I got the thing upside down. Let's see if these these drivers will work. Now they're hooked to side rods, so they aren't going to turn necessarily. They're just they're going to be able to rock back and forth. See, so this axle is good. This axle is good. Notice how the thing works and and it's going back and forth. That's fine. Now we're going to put it on this gear wheel. Uh, it is. It is. I can't even turn it with my finger not even with my finger on the gear gear thing so 
I guess I'll take that apart and see what uh, what's wrong with it. Well, took the brakes. Just details. They don't work. They're not real brakes. Brakes off the locomotive. <clears throat> bearing caps off the, the center driver. Center driver. Let me see if I can find a light. Mm. Yeah, it's really weird. There it is. Try to turn this wheel again. No. No. Try to lift it out of there. This one lifts a little bit. This one over here. Lifts a little bit. But it does not want to move. And there's no there's nothing to keep it from moving. It should wobble just as just like one of these things is wobbling. That side rod going back and forth a little bit. It's a slop in here. This is nothing. This is nothing. So I'm not really sure what to do next. Uh, so I can email this to you and ask you. Well, whatever. So <clears throat> I think the next thing we got to do, since this thing doesn't turn, and it's stuck somewhere, and it, I don't know. I'm gonna see if this will turn without the other ones. If I can, if I can turn it without the side rods on it. So I'm gonna take the side rods off, and then we'll see if that thing turns. That center driver. So got the side rods off. Now see if we can turn this thing. Nope, it's stuck. It's not hooked to this gear, so there is something definitely fouling that. So I'm going to take it out and see if we can get some of the bearings to turn on it. May have to do that with uh, both hands, but at any rate, that's that's what we need to do is see if those bearings turn. And if they do, then the chances of them being too tight in between here is. Uh, it's very, very, very possible. Or these things just could have oil in them that have frozen the things. We just need to soak them to get them going. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that bearing right there. Now, this one on uh, its closest to the bottom of the camera here does turn a little bit. This one with my pliers on it, it's hard to even turn it with these pliers on it. And of course, there's a little spring sticking out to keep the, the drivers. So, Looking at this, this looks like it's probably okay. I don't really see any problems with, with things hanging up here. It's just one bearing that needs to be flush. So I will remove that screen and get some uh, carb cleaner and just really hose this thing down. We'll see what it looks like after that. Well, I'm not sure how to hold this thing, but I uh, went out and carb cleaned the thing. And what had happened, I think, is when he put these springs in normally you touch them uh, just a little bit of super glue and then you glue them into the bottom of your engine you can kind of see a little bit of a little bit of splotch right right there in that slot and so uh, I think that's what he did with these he just got a little zealous with his, with his glue now with carb cleaner a little bit of three-in-one oil they run really good. I got them cleaned out. Let me let me do the other side here if I can. Yeah. Slip that off of that one and put it on to the to the next one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll we'll try this down here so anyway I think this is gonna I think this is this is all that's wrong with it uh, I'll try to get it back together I've got one two three four five 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, or 14 screws to put back in this thing in the right place. Uh, and this one will have will not have little minor connectors on it. So, uh, problem solved. And uh, your engine should be running here in, a, in the next day or so. Depends on my family <laughs> requirements. And lately it's been a lot. See you, bye. Well, I've got the driver replaced now. Uh, carb cleaner. Well, I didn't know they were both frozen. I don't know, probably either from old oil or maybe a little bit of super glue, don't know. And and now it turns really well. And now uh, with the side frames and stuff rubbing up against it, it doesn't, it, it'll spin, but this is, see it spins? All right. So now the next thing is, is we put the side rods back on and see if uh, the whole monkey motion here spins. And if that does, then we put the motor back on the gearbox. Well, I've got the side rods back on. And what's really interesting about side rods, if I can get my little pointy thing in here, is there. This is an individual side rod. This is an individual side rod. And it's really hard to see, but there's a little washer down in there. And then, of course, you got your top piece to go on top of that. And then you got to get the screw all the way through all three of those. And you get to do that on both sides. So at any rate, I got that done. Now let's see if these these wheels will will turn here. Oh, yeah. See, all of this stuff is going. Side rods are going in and out. Okay. Now we're ready to put the, the gearbox back on it. And uh, fire up the motor and see if all this works. Got the gearbox back on this thing. Only two screws, which is really nice. Got my DC power pack here. I'm just gonna fire up the DC end of this thing. Oh, that's my uh, that's my cord here. I gotta get that out of the way. So get this thing to focus. Come down here without touching anything else. pretty good I like it okay I'd say that our investigation is done and over I will wire this thing back up put these uh, wires back on the motor and then we'll put it on a track and see if it works up there Changing directions for number nine. I've only got the throttle on to about 15 here. Brake steel on this one. It was on there, but I don't know. And I just turned number seven off. Let's turn number seven back on again. Number eight.
But at any rate, I think it's going to work. Just put it all back together and put it in the box. Okay, here's the completed engine. Running. Not very far to go. It runs really good slow. Changing direction. Changing direction. Changing direction. Let's see if I get the light on. Yep, there it is. Changing direction. Turn the bell off. This is a little weird. You turn you turn the bell on with number three. Sort of a short train will change your direction. This is number one. Doesn't do anything number two. Changing direction. <coughs> and uh, two is stays on until you push the number two button again. Number three is the, the bell changing directions. Number nine goes nothing. Number ten shuts the light off. Number ten also turns it on. Changing direction. So anyway, those are the controls. Not quite what I would love to have, but uh, win some, lose some. Turn it off. Give it a great seat. Alright, well that's uh, CNS number 9. See you goodbye.